I'm Mel Spikes and welcome to Botany Bay. It's 10 a.m., very late start. I'll tell you a story. I got up at 7.30 thinking, oh, it's only 25 degrees today, it's overcast, bit of sun, maybe some rain. I don't think it's gonna be busy on the water. So I made the decision to go to foreshore boat ramp, which is not a boat ramp I frequent. And what do you know, it was completely chock-a-block full. You know, it's a huge boat ramp and it was still full that early in the morning. So I had to come all the way out to Tarrant Point and then drive all the way back out here. So very late start for me. Anyway, the plan is to get revenge on that big girl flatty that I couldn't net the other day. I just want to see her and hold her and release her basically. Um, to be in the presence of a flathead of that size would be a lifetime achievement. So I'm back here to give it a go. I'm not going to stop giving it a go until I find her or until the breeding school moves on. So yeah, anyway, um, it's not going to be a full blown video today. I'll just document the fish that come on board. I'm fishing the Padstow RSL fishing comp. So just be catch and release mostly. Um, if there's a few little flatty, I might keep them. Anyway, here we are. 10 a.m. on the rocket clock. Let's go. All right, guys. I'm here to seek redemption on that 90 plus centimeter flathead that broke my heart. First drop. And I've got a fairly big flathead in the boat. How's that for a flatty? Yeah. Daniel! Oh, no, it's all right. Sixty seven on the nose. Fucking beautiful. Botany Bay. Wait, she's ready. safe to say that this area has got flathead and big flathead at that I'm gonna keep trying till I get that 90 are you talking to me oh what is it a flatty they're having sex My friend is next to me, his name's Daniel, and um, he's here for the flatty experience as well. He's just caught a little boy in the 40s. They're having sex with the big girl, that 90, that 90 centimeter Jurassic flathead. I'm going to catch her. I might not catch her, but I'm going to certainly try. I'm going to keep coming back every night after work, every weekend, until they stop mating or I find her. Let's go. I love fishing so much. I'll catch you later. Following that flathead is a brimbo. That's a fairly fat brim, probably about 30 centimetres. No leakage, which is good. Half pilly rig, still intact. Lovely. 
That's a 31 and a half centimetre brim. Beautiful. I'm going to let this brim go. It's your lucky day. Today's the Padstow comp, so I'm happy to release them. Brimbo's lucky day. It's going home. Go home. Oh shit, yeah. See you later, dude. It's been a long time between drinks, guys. Got really quiet for a while. Got about three small brim, released them. Didn't even give them a measure. They were probably about 27, 28 centimeters. Sambo came along. Hello, Mr. Sambo. So that's a nice Botany Bay salmon right there. Nice and heavy, a couple of kilos. Let's give it a quick measure. We'll let it go. That's a pretty healthy 50, 52 and a half centimetre salmon. Beautiful fish, great addition to the uh, Padstow comp. We'll let it go. Let's go, Mr. Sambo. Let's go here. I'm gonna lose my phone one day doing this. later buddy I managed to put um, the coconut oil on one leg before that Sambo hooked up so we get the rest sorted get another bait out there and see what else is around <laughs> surrounded by seagulls at the moment I don't know what just happened there there's a nice Flathead to come out of Botany Bay. Forty-five centimeters, and that's my first fish I'm going to keep, and that's dinner. Almost forty-five centimeters. Beautiful. There's another flatty, guys. It's um, unfortunately bleeding everywhere. It ate my hook quite deep. So I'll give it a quick measure and we'll put it in the tank and that's coming home for dinner. It's not a bad size. It's not a bad size at all. Forty-seven centimeters, give or take. Beautiful flat head. Oh, hold on. There we go. That's a 47 centimeter flat head coming straight home for dinner. Botany Bay is the place to be. Oh my, bit of a crusher. There's 
another brim guys to hit the deck it seems like the brim and the flatty are breeding in the same spot today they're all having a great time they're all together it's all i can seem to catch besides that salmon i'll um i'll let this one go that's it on the brag mat there it's about 30 centimeters lovely fish Stunning colour. That's a stunning. That's a stunning silver. And see you go. See you later. Oh, don't be like that. made it back to the ramp the wind has picked up quite a bit so um, it's good to be out of the water here's what I do next I keep this container in my boot which has a hose that's made out of some strange bendy rubber I have a noozle which I believe is salty captain and I always keep calling it salty semen, I don't know why, but salty captain and salt away. It's a very old um, container, so you can't see the, the front of it, but that's salt away. And here's what I do after every session. Uh, watch this guys I'll Connect that you will witness the most powerful water pressure in Sydney I'll um, I'll actually show the hose as it uncoils. So right now it's soft rubbery floppy bendable hose And that's it. Pose this all over the boat. And that gets rid of all the salt. Make sure you wash your boat. After every session, you want to get the salt off. And salt away is the best thing. Well, it's actually the most convenient thing i found. You just hose it on and then wait for it to run out in there. And then hose it all off.
And that's Salty Captain. Or Salty Seaman in my head. There you go. Easy as that. Always flush your engine after every use with um, fresh water. You can also do it with the, um, the gun as well. I don't bother because it'll be out on the water tomorrow again. So yeah. Thank you so much for watching. It really means the most to me when you guys take the time out of your lives to watch my little adventures. Take care, stay safe, have fun, and I will see you on the next one. Cheers.